Okay, so I'm uh, building a little wall in my basement just to sort of close in the stairs, and I'm just about to lay the base plate, and I've realized that there's a crack in the slab of the house. Now, um, a concrete slab is not really necessary in a house. You can easily build a house without a slab. And in fact, as your slab, um, if, as it starts to crack and things, there's no real risk other than like uh, critters getting in, you know, bugs and, and mice or the sort of trip hazard associated with it. So the house is old, the slab is very thin, surprisingly thin, and it's got cracks all throughout it. So, um, you know, some folks would run out and jackhammer the whole thing and pour a whole new slab to get a thicker slab and to, you know, to, to deal with the cracks. But uh, I don't know that I'm gonna live in this house forever and I wanna take good care of it, but I'm not ready to drop, you know, 30 grand on a new slab that I don't really need. Right? But uh, before I build something on top of a part of the slab that has a crack in it, I do want to fix that crack. So I've actually used two, um, two different uh, products to fix uh, cracks in the concrete. One is a top and bond. It's a, a, a sort of traditional mortar um, uh, you know, that's designed for this, has acrylic or vinyl or something in it. And, um, and I've mixed that in small amounts and put it on there. But I've actually started using this product by Sika, the Sika Flex company that we use on our like RVs and things, right? And I, I like it a lot better. So um, let me show you how, I'm gonna show you the process of cleaning out that crack and then uh, filling it in, which is surprisingly simple. So if you're somebody who has cracks in your basement floor or cracks elsewhere in your house, hopefully this will be an empowering experience. Uh, first task for me anytime I'm working on the floor because I'm you know pushing 50 at this point is uh, putting on these knee pads I would think that even if you're 20 uh, and you know uh, bold uh, knee pads like this are just uh, it really makes your life a lot better these are like $15 maybe at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever and these right here I've had for probably I don't know, probably 20 years. So they're, they're holding up really nicely. Uh, they come on and off real easily because of these um, Velcro closures, but um, you can see how thick they are, right? The, the actual thickness of the pad is, is pretty good. It's like a good inch. And um, I gotta tell you, uh, it's a real nice, um, cheap luxury when you're doing this work. And uh, I use them all the time for uh, construction. And, and, you know, anytime I have to get into a tight space, it just makes me that much more comfortable. So you can see this crack running right here all the way along. Uh, and that's just a little too close to this plate. Once I put sheetrock on here or, or a baseboard or something like that, um, it's just going to be too close to repair. So I want to repair it before I put this plate in. Also, I am using a pressure treated plate because um, cement contact with uh, wood, uh, there's moisture there. It, um, it gives off moisture and sometimes they rot quick. Um, so I just want to take care of that. Other uh, items while I'm down here. It's kind of a mess under here. So I'm going to clean that up. Keeping things clean is a great way to ensure that you notice if there's uh, critters or something. You see mouse drops uh, here and you don't know how old they are, but once that's vacuumed up, uh, if I see mouse droppings, I know I have a unwelcome guest. So the tools for this project are pretty simple. First, I'm gonna be using a brass brush, stiff brass brush to get into the crack there, right? Second, I'm gonna use a vacuum. This is my trusty Mila. It's like 12 years old. It used to be our household vacuum, but um, it's still going and uh, works great for the basement. And then I'm gonna use a trowel. This is a, I think a margin trowel. You can see it's, it's not very long. It's maybe four or five inches long and it's flat and it's beat up pretty good. And as I said, I'm gonna use this Sika Flex uh, Pro Select Ready Mix Concrete Patch. Uh, it's nice and soft, it doesn't need to be mixed and uh, it works real well. So let me show you the process of cleaning out that crack. Okay, so there's not a lot of mystery here. You have this crack here that you just wanna get into, right, and clean out. And uh, you wanna get as deep as you can in there. And you can see that Stuff's coming out of there pretty good. Crack is darkening up. We'll give you a before and after here so you can see. And that's where this stiff brush really makes a difference. You, you need something that's gonna really get into those cracks, right? 
Now, what's interesting is I'm actually seeing maybe some previous crack repair here, this gray stuff. So it's possible I'm not the first person to repair this, even this particular crack. Um, but, say la vie. Now, what you could do is you could grind this back, right? In, and I have the tools to do that. You would use a, a, a grind, grinder with a diamond blade to create a sort of scoop. And maybe that's why this previous patch failed. Um, you know, that's the right way to do it. It takes a lot more time. It's very dusty, very, very dusty. But I'm working around all sorts of stuff I already have in my basement. So, um, and again, I'm just trying to stabilize, you know, this and, and make sure it doesn't get any worse. Would it be great to grind it back? Sure, but I'm just not gonna be able to do that today, okay? So I've cleaned the crack out, now I'm gonna vacuum it out. So you can see that's opened it up quite a bit and our goal is going to be to shove material down into that crack to fill it. Um, I'm going to finish off the rest of the crack off camera and then we'll come back and fill. Okay so now it's time to fill this crack and uh, I'm going to follow this right down here and along and as I said you know in theory I should grind all this back but I'm just not going to do that you know like I'm not trying to take on a huge project I'm just trying to reduce the infiltration of of um, bugs. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't get any worse. I'm trying to do it cheap and quick and easy and right enough, right? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just not um, doing the crazy, you know, complete repair. Um, just like I said, I'm not going to jackhammer out my slab. So this stuff <laughs> comes out like this crazy, like, goo, right? It's very soft. It's soft even in the in the package it's um it's sort of like dough i guess or or like what you might um it's actually kind of like you know ice cream that you've kind of left in the freezer too long that's what it's like so um so it's pretty flexible so i'm literally just gonna gonna push it into these cracks right and i'm just pushing it in and that's really all i'm trying to accomplish here I'm putting a lot of downward force on this as I do this to try and get it right into that crack. And I'm going to cross it back and forth different directions, okay? I will build it up so that it's a little bit of a hump in the floor, right? To give it a little extra bonding power. But they say that this can be this stuff can be feathered out to a real thin edge. And that's what I'm going to do. Right. And that's it. That's, that's what I'm trying to accomplish right there. So, you know, I'm not somebody who's done a lot of masonry or mason repair, masonry repair in my life. And honestly, this project felt, when I first started doing this, um, I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? And how hard is it going to be? And how much time is it going to take? But honestly, uh, particularly with this Sika material, it's been so simple. And I can do a little bit at a time. Uh, it dries pretty quick, so I can move on to my project pretty soon after I, I do this. Um that now I'm, you know, I'm sort of a, a, a concrete patch and fool. You know, wherever, wherever I come across a crack or a gap in the concrete, I'm just going, going ahead and, and putting some of this Sika material down. And um, like I said, I'm not a mason, not a master. Just trying to take as best care of things as I can for a reasonable amount of money and effort. And there you go. That's that's the crack repaired. I'll continue with the rest of it offline. Um, and um, this dries pretty quick. Let me show you what it looks like once it's fully dry. Right, so 
So here's a similar crack that I did a couple days ago. And this is like smooth. It feels like concrete. I guess it has vinyl or acrylic in it. Um, and um, it's, it's perfectly smooth now. It's feathered right down to the concrete. You can sand this back if you want. Um, I think just foot traffic generally does that for enough. Um, but, you know, it feels, feels good. feels done. And uh, it's nice and smooth. So, uh, so there you go. Consider repairing your own concrete patches. I think I do recommend this stuff. I've done a, quite a few patches at this point and it's held up really well. Process has been easy. And, and as I said, you know, you look at this stuff and it, it's very flexible. So I hope that helps.